The Assassin's Creed franchise has given us some truly memorable gaming experiences spanning all the way back to 2007. Unfortunately, as technology has progressed, it has consistently caused issues as we attempt to go back and enjoy some of those older AC games. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and today I'm putting all of my workarounds and advice together into a single guide for PC users when it comes to getting your Assassin's Creed games to either perform better or, as in the case of AC1, Unity, and Syndicate, to actually get them to launch. All of these fixes and workarounds were either obtained from my own research and experimentation or through my direct contact and discussions with Ubisoft support. And yes, I have tested them all and I use them personally on my Assassin's Creed library. Now you may have different suggestions and or modifications that you recommend. Again, these are just what I use and can validate. While you are here, please take a moment to smash that subscribe button for more Assassin's Creed uploads, and don't forget to ring the bell to receive all my future upload alerts. Now, not all of the Assassin's Creed games run poorly or won't run at all on PC, at least from what I have seen through my entire library, all housed on Ubisoft Connect, but... At least for me, these are the ones that I have had issues with, and these are the specific workarounds I've used to get them all functional. Let's start off with Assassin's Creed, or let's call it AC1, especially since it is getting some buzz back around the original 2007 game. There are rumors of a remake. Players are going back and trying it out again, and if you have a modern CPU processor like me, it simply won't launch. And for reference, here is my CPU. It is a Threadripper Pro 3975WX, which has 32 cores and 64 threads. Now, if you attempt to launch AC1 without using any modifications, so you just re-download it into Ubisoft Connect, and I'm also going to assume it's the same for an outside launcher, these are your results. You go about your business, you select the game in Ubisoft Connect, you of course press play, the game tries to install the detection software and it just won't launch. Now I struggled mightily with this until I found this helpful post over on the Ubisoft forums and a comment by Atrio, who by the way came up with this workaround, so full credit to him. First things first, look in my video description, download the Google Drive doc link created by Atrio, and then copy that text and paste it into something like Notepad. Just grab the entire thing, copy and paste it, and then I'm gonna walk you through it. I don't have a background in IT, but essentially you are telling the game, AC1, to launch using a preset affinity, or how many CPU cores you want the game to launch with, which is the issue the game has and why it won't launch as the detection program is unable to detect your CPU or cores. Now I've tested it and you can just use this base script and the game will run just fine. Now I adjusted mine to use four cores, so I added a capital F without spaces after the one in this script. One F is the affinity value in hex and using this setup, my game launches perfectly. With how limited AC1 taxes modern CPUs, you honestly don't need to exceed this many cores. Now that you've got the script set up just the way you want, save that entire notepad document to your desktop. I named mine Run Assassin's Creed. Make sure you are pre-logged into whatever launcher you use to launch your games with, so I have already logged into Ubisoft Connect and authorized my logon with 2FA. Finally, right click on the notepad document you have already saved to your desktop, and then if you look at the second option from the top, it says run with PowerShell. Select that option, and your original Assassin's Creed game will immediately boot up and you are in business. Again, all credit to Atrio on this one, as this simple workaround really helped me out. And this workaround will work for both Windows 10 and 11. I'll come back to some of the other Assassin's Creed 2 games in just a moment, but I wanted to first discuss Revelations because it has a very unique issue. Now, if you've attempted to play Revelations in Windows 10, it is extremely rough on the eyes as it flickers and flashes nonstop, and I found a fix for this as well that involves one small change to the actual game files. And this one was found over on the Ubisoft help pages and comes directly from their side. 
First off, make sure you have the game fully installed. I think that goes without saying. And then we're going to want to find the installation location of the game itself. Open up your file explorer in your taskbar. And then since I have my Ubisoft games installed on my C drive, I select that next. Your installation drive may be different, so make sure you know where your games are located. Now after selecting my C drive, next look for program files times 86. Once you've clicked through into program files, scroll down and find a folder named Ubisoft. That will then bring you to Ubisoft Game Launcher. Open that folder and you land in an area with even more folders and files and you want to find the folder named Games and open that one next. Now, you finally arrived at the individual Ubisoft games you have installed on your selected drive. Find Assassin's Creed Revelations and next open that folder. Scroll down towards the bottom of this folder and you are looking for this specific app extension, systemdetection.dll. If you look on your screens, you'll see what it looks like. Now that you've found it, you want to modify this to something just a little bit different. Right click on the system detection line and then from that drop down, select rename. I recommend adding on an underscore and zero at the end of system detection. Just look at my screen. Press enter to confirm and then exit out of your file explorer. It will save that change and you are done. Next, just boot up revelations and the flickering and flashing should now be gone. There's also another step I would recommend and that one I will show you once I start to cover the other AC2 games, Syndicate and Unity, but for now, at least the flickering screen is handled. This final fix is going to help with AC2 and AC4 and try to help them run more smoothly. And also if you find that some of your other titles are stuttering and not performing well enough, you may want to try this workaround on those as well. Now in the case of Unity and Syndicate, I could not boot either of these games at all. Watch as I select Unity and I will begin to boot the game up hit the splash screen and then either hard freeze my entire PC or immediately crash back to Ubisoft Connect. And believe me, I tried everything to get Unity and Syndicate to run properly. I went what felt like a hundred rounds back and forth with Ubisoft support. They had me send tons of DX Diag reports, made all sorts of suggestions all over the place, including a fresh boot on an alternate logon. But it was the final suggestion they sent me from a post on their forums that finally did the job. What we are going to attempt to do is adjust our boot affinity for the entire PC because even if you attempt to adjust it through your task manager as the games are launching, you won't have enough time and the games will crash. So start off in your taskbar and click on the magnifying glass and then in the search tab type in msconfig. This should bring up the system configuration app and an icon and of course click on it. Now we have the system configuration window and you are looking for the boot tab at the top. Once you select the boot tab, look halfway down on the left side and you're going to find the advanced options tab. By selecting it, you will see the boot advanced option window and you want to concentrate on the upper left hand side. Now by default, the number of processors box should be empty and the grayed out drop down box should be on one we are going to be changing those values. Select the number of processors box and that should turn the grayed out dropdown visible and you will be able to see your max available processors. You can see me scrolling through this dropdown and I have a max value of 64. Now FYI, anything over 30 will cause Unity and Syndicate to not launch and it will also hurt AC2 and AC4's performance. Pick whatever value you want from 1 to 30. I like 24 as it seems to work well for me. Then click OK at the bottom of this window. Now you are back on the main boot window and you next want to click on Apply, OK, and then when prompted, Restart. Now make sure any of your work is saved and go ahead and restart your PC. After your PC has restarted, it's always a good idea to go back in and check the msconfig settings to confirm your processor change has taken hold and worked. Here, you can see I'm back in the boot advanced options window and I had selected 24 processors before my restart and you can see the check mark in the number of processors box and 24 selected in the drop down bar below there. 
so it has worked. Log back into Ubisoft Connect or whatever launcher you use and give Unity or Syndicate another attempt at launching. Just so you can see that it works perfectly, here is Unity, booting up, which always takes a little bit of time, but the splash screen loads in, you get the UB logo drop, and then the game takes its time, but it will land you straight into the game. Also, here is Syndicate, doing the exact same thing, splash screen, logo drop, and then into the game. Now, it's important to remember that your PC will stay in this adjusted core mode until you go back in and readjust the cores back to max. Now, for that, MS config and follow the exact same steps, but when you get to the number of processors, deselect the number of processors box, hit OK, OK again, and apply, and of course, reboot. You will be prompted to restart, do so, and when you reboot, you will be back at running with your max cores. Now, as far as the other Assassin's Creed games I have in my library that I didn't touch on in this video, Brotherhood, AC3, Freedom Cry, Rogue, Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla, they didn't seem to need an adjustment of any kind, at least with my setup. If anything, if the older games are starting to stutter and catch a bit on your current setups, I would recommend to try limiting your cores like I showed you and see if that helps. Hopefully you found this guide helpful. I know it can be a bit of a pain in the ass, especially Unity and Syndicate, but if you follow these steps, getting all these great games to work properly is easier than you think. If you could take a moment to smash that subscribe button and ring the bell to receive my latest uploads, it would be greatly appreciated. Remember to rate, comment, and share this video if you found it to your liking. You can also find and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and over on my community Discord server. Links to all my socials can be found in the video description below. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.